Hi, I'm Isabella He from Signal. In this video, I'm going to show you how Signal provides continuous access management, enabling business users to have just the access they need to carry out their sanctioned business activity. As modern organizations employ a complex structure of applications and databases to store and control access to their enterprise data, securing that data is incredibly challenging. Consequently, traditional approaches to enterprise access management, such as role and attribute-based access control, are showing their limits. Stale access, access privileges, implementation or maintenance burden, and regulatory and audit findings are all symptoms of a broken identity access solution. Unauthorized access to enterprise data can inflict enormous financial and reputational damage on organizations, including potential legal liability. As many recent damaging cybersecurity incidents have occurred either through malicious insiders or attackers posing as insiders, a scalable solution to address this problem must tackle the ambient permissions afforded to a user. In this demo, we will use a fictitious company called Wholesale Chips, a large semiconductor manufacturer, to demonstrate how Signal steps in to ensure that data is accessed by the right people, in the right context, at the right time, with auditability. Let's jump into a demonstration of what Wholesale Chips environment looks like without Signal to understand the problem of excess privilege due to static permissioning. This is their billing management application built to handle their customers' invoices. I'm logged in as Alejandro, a customer support user, and my role-based permissions give me scoped but unfettered access to customer data. I can move from customer to customer and look at any potentially sensitive customer information and issue a refund at any point in time for any reason. But should Alejandro be able to issue a refund for any customer? How can we prevent him from looking at all of the sensitive data he has available to his role? Signal helps organizations answer such questions. Signal's platform integrates with your systems of record to unify critical business context that is applied to policies to inform real-time access. Now, let's dive into the customer support policy to see how Signal has built a policy engine that allows policymakers and practitioners to create policies that are readable and understandable to anyone in the company. As you can see, if we go into edit this policy and look at the example policy snippets, signal policies are easily comprehensible, leverage dynamic data, and fine-grained. For example, you can set policies with conditions to specify manager approval and account ownership. You can also set policies to protect different assets like internal development production workloads. Let's cancel these changes to go back to the original customer support policy for this demonstration. Signal policies are versioned and support lifestyle controls including simulating for policy testing, debugging, enforcing, and deprecating. Because Signal synchronizes business context from Azure Active Directory and ServiceNow, this particular Signal policy helps wholesale chips add a crucial layer of access management control to their original role-based access policy. Now, a user can only access a customer asset if an active case for the customer is assigned to that user. With this customer support policy in place, we can see the results in their billing management application. When I move between customers, I will see that I no longer have access to unfettered access for any customer. Let's say that Alejandro now has business justification to access a specific customer. In Wholesale Chip's example workflow, that means that we will assign Alejandro to an approved case for Glover PLC in ServiceNow. Now, if we refresh our billing management application and do a search for Glover PLC, we see that Alejandro is allowed access to that specific customer. However, he does not have unfettered access to these other customers. Signal has protected access to sensitive data while ensuring that policies do not interfere with business operations. Since Signal synchronizes access management across data sources, Signal makes auditing access easy with information from all data sources in a centralized platform. From the logs, Alejandro was first denied access when he was not assigned to an active case, then allowed access to Glover PLC once we assigned him to the relevant case, while being denied access to the other customers he wasn't assigned to. Beyond internally built applications like Wholesale Chips Billing Management application, Signal also enables dynamic access management for SaaS apps, databases, and API management platforms. As this video demonstrated with Wholesale Chip's simple use case, Signal helps organizations integrate across their enterprise stack for business context, deliver just-in-time access, craft human-readable policies, and is auditable by default. 
To learn more, visit Signal.ai.